you're just tuning in now, we are only moments away from a truly magical night here in Pennsylvania. And coming to you live from the Hollywood of historical wargaming, this is the Caesars Red Carpet Pre-Show, brought to you by the 2022 Lincoln Nautilus Luxury Redefined. I am your red carpet correspondent, podcasting legend, Sean Clark. All the stars are out tonight, dressed to perfection for an evening of glitz, glamour and, oh, whatever it is Tom is wearing here. Oh, wow. I'm joining you live for the biggest night in historical wargaming. The kind of high class, high drama event requiring a correspondent with a proper English accent. None of that Yorkshire rubbish. And make no mistake, tonight's show is dripping with drama. Will Tabletop CP repeat as favourite YouTube channel? And can Seventh Son make history by sweeping three categories? So many questions to be answered as we celebrate content creators in this incredible tabletop hobby. Oh, look, and that's Little Wars TV Tony. He's been a guest on my podcast, you know, God's own scale. Such a legend. Okay, friends, you can see the countdown is drawing near, which means it's time to say goodnight from our red carpet pre-show. I'd say that I'll see you at the after party, but you're probably not invited. That's generally reserved for big stars like me, Sean Clark, podcasting legend. My goodness, we are just seconds away from the opening act. Last year was Morgan Freeman. So who will open the Caesars this time around? All right, all right, all right. We're about to find out in three, two, one. And here we go. The road to this moment wasn't meant to be easy. A journey worth taking never is. Historical miniature wargaming isn't about following the crowd. It's not about overpriced monsters or make-believe. No, the only monsters you'll see tonight are 50 tons of steel. The big cats that dominate in real battlefields. These are the battlefields your grandfather and great-grandfather fought on. Battles with real heroes fighting to take down real monsters. Historical wargaming allows us to explore those stories in our own way. And tonight's nominees are some of the most creative, independent voices shaping our hobby. They say history's already been written. But in this hobby, we're free to explore new roads with new strategies. And tonight's road ends with a Caesar Award for eight of the best content creators. Now, will they win a new Lincoln Nautilus with a hand-stitched leather interior and a 13-inch digital touchscreen? No, that's only a car starting at $43,000. I see tonight's winners take home something priceless the respect and recognition of their peers, the right to carve their name in marble alongside legends of the hobby. So tonight, let's make history. Let's start the 2022 Caesar Awards, brought to you by Little Wars TV. Welcome back to the Caesars, the biggest night in historical wargaming. Now I know that you're all on the edge of your seats, and not just to find out who's taking home one of these. Don't worry friends, I have far too little musical talent and far too much dignity to debase myself as your host like Steve did last year. <laughs> so to get this show started, how about you help me give a warm welcome to our first presenter, a man who combines my lack of musical talent with Steve's lack of shame. It's Little Wars TV Tony. Thank you, thank you, no, seriously, thank you. For the record, 
Can we pull an Oscars maybe and next year do this show without a host? Our first award tonight, Best Historical Wargaming Podcast, is brought to you by HMGS, the Historical Miniatures Gaming Society. Their next convention is Historicon this July. I know our club will be there running games, and we hope to see a lot of you in Lancaster this summer. Thanks to HMGS, tonight's winner will win $100 in cold hard cash. And the nominees are... Best War Game Podcast. Plastic Crack Podcast. The Oddcast by Two Fat Lardies. Yorkshire Gamer Podcast. All right, thank you. I've just been handed the winner. Uh, these are compiled by our law firm of Dewey, Cheatham, and Howe. The winner is the Yorkshire Gamer Podcast. Help me to welcome our next presenter, a commander you saw flounder up the Mekong River in our Vietnam episode, Little Wars TV Day. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Our next award is Best Wargaming Blog, and is sponsored by Bacchus 6mm. The winner receives a copy of Bacchus's new Pony Wars rules. We recently picked up the Pony Wars rules here at the club, and we can't wait to give it a try. The nominees for Best Wargaming Blog are... Best Wargame Blog Blood and Pigment, a Blood and Plunder Blog Breakthrough Assault Der Alte Fritz Journal And the voting in this category was very close, but the winner is... Der Alte Fritz Journal <laughs> Congratulations again to Jim. Now, before we move on to our video categories, let's raise a glass to thank our all-star panel of judges. We have YouTube legends Neil from Real Terrain Hobbies and Griffin from the Armchair Historian. We have hobby industry insiders Adam from the Army Painter and Richard Clark of Two Fat Lardies. John Hollier is the current president of HMGS, the Historical Miniatures Gaming Society. And our final judge, is a single collective vote from over 700 patrons of Little Wars TV. Thank you once again to our panel of independent judges. We really appreciate your time. Absolutely. I guess we should continue with the show. Mm. Uh, but I gotta tell you, something feels a little off this year. What? Just, I don't know, the energy's off. Um, maybe next year we should maybe find somebody with more star power. Somebody more dynamic. Somebody more like Steve. You say that Steve is the best host and I've led the Caesars astray. It's not true. I can sing Broadway parody as badly as Steve can for you. I confess, I didn't know singing would be such a part of the show, but if this is a test, I'm ready to prove just how far that I'm willing to go. Caesars are back, like before, with new awards and nominees to score. The Caesars are back, tonight you'll see, no need for sci-fi or fantasy. New games rise, old games fall, Russian Kriegspiel started it all. So if you clicked for a song, I've done my duty as your host and it's time for us to move the show along. Da -da -da -da. More like it. Now we're back on track. Painting tutorials are among the most popular genre in our hobby. I know I've learned a ton over the years watching those videos, and I'm sure you have too. Fittingly, tonight's winner will receive a mega paint set from the Army Painter. Visit them online to check out their brand new speed paint products. The nominees for best painting tutorial are.
test painting tutorial video. ECW How I Paint Warlord Games Cavalry Regiment by Seventh Son. How to Paint Warriors of the Dark Ages Norman Soldiers by Pete the Wargamer. Painting 2mm French Napoleonic Line Infantry by Project Wargaming. And here we go. Who is taking home a Caesar tonight? For painting Dark Age Warriors, Pete the Wargamer. The skin was then completed with a few fine highlights of Corpse Pale. I didn't use Arid Earth for this particular highlight, as you can very easily make your skin tones look overly pallid. I assure all of you, our next presenter is much happier to be here than he looks. Welcome, Little Wars TV Chow. All right, let's get this over with. The winner of the Best Product Review will receive a $100 gift card to the Michigan Toy Soldier Company. Maybe I should start making some videos. Thank you again to Michigan Toy Soldier Company for sponsoring this category. Your 2022 nominees are... Best Product Review Video. Which 3D printer should you buy for Miniature Tabletop Wargaming? By Geek Gaming Scenix. Warlord Games Epic American Civil War Figures, How Do They Paint? By Paint and Glory. Honor LaSalle 2nd Edition Flip Through by War Games Illustrated. And the winner is Warlord Games Epic American Civil War Figures by Paint and Glory. For the Union, I used Crystal Blue for the pants. Uh, but you could use any kind of medium light blue. Help me ring in our next award with one of your favorite stars, Little Wars TV Job. Wow, Chow's a tough act to follow, but it falls on me to announce this next award for Best Terrain Tutorial Video. And this year's field of nominees is stacked. The winner gets to pick any 6x4 gaming mat from Deep Cut Studio. Go check out all the cool options they have available, including totally custom mats and double-sided game mats. The nominees for Best Terrain Tutorial Video are... Best Terrain Tutorial Video Make Better Wargaming Hills by Devs and Dice Making a Band of Brothers Wargaming Trench Table by Geek Gaming Scenix Crafting Thatched Roundhouses and Huts by Landvader's Lair. And the winner is... Making a Band of Brothers Wargaming Trench Table by Geek Gaming Scenix. It's well worth the extra effort. However, that extra effort did cost about six hours of just placing static grass down. Ooh, a very tough category. Our congratulations again to Luke for the win. Now, as fans of Little Wars TV know, we like to keep things lighthearted around here, which is why we created a special award called our Brutus Award for Funniest Mean Comment. Last year, the competition was fierce, but this year is simply a runaway winner. It's no contest, folks. It is my distinct honor to present this worthless golden knife to John Pickens for his lengthy analysis of our Fire at Sea rule review. In his comment, John takes it upon himself to render the following discerning verdict. Review of the review, 3 of 10. Review of the reviewer, 5.5. High marks for personality and just getting the job done time after time. Low marks for lack of range, some intellectual sloppiness, and lack of consistency. You need to up your game here. It would make my day to give you an 8 in the future. And it certainly makes my day to award John Pickens with our 2022 Brutus Award. The Academy proudly scores your review of our review 10 out of 10. The prize for this year's Brutus Award is, as always, worth nothing. That's called symbolism, folks. Now allow me to welcome back your favorite wargaming duo for a category that actually has a prize. Dave, this isn't just any prize. This is the largest prize of the night. $250 award to the winner. Last year, Little Wars TV made a challenge to all of you out there. We wanted you to film your own battle reports using whatever equipment that you had available, even your cell phone. 
And much to our delight, dozens of you accepted the Quick Strike Challenge. For many, it was the first time you'd ever filmed a war game. For others, it was a fresh look at a new short style format. We had so many great entries that we created a playlist on our YouTube channel. We're still adding more Quick Strike AARs on a regular basis, but we encourage you to go check out some of these truly fantastic war games. As long as you guys keep making fantastic Quick Strikes, we'll keep sharing them on our channel as a way to help grow the historical wargaming community. Sadly, Josh, there can be only three finalists. And those three outstanding nominees are... Best Quick Strike Video. Operation Caravan Quick Strike AAR by Miniature Adventures. O Group Kota Baru Solo AAR Quick Strike by Storm of Steel Wargaming. The Battle of Shiloh Gameplay AAR by Wargames Tonight. The winner for the best Quick Strike AAR and the $250 award is The Battle of Shiloh by Wargames Tonight. To save the situation, Bragg was forced to form a grand battery near the Shiloh Church. Johnson committed his reserve corps under Breckenridge. Well, I'm back, I guess. There's only two categories left, so the show should be over pretty soon. Uh, so the next category is the best war game video after action report. The winner receives a $100 cash prize from HMGS, the Historical Miniatures Gaming Society. Unlike the quick strike category where the videos must be under 10 minutes in length, the after action reports in this category can be of any length. And your top nominees are... Best War Game After Action Report Video War of the Roses Battle Report A Settling of Scores by Seventh Son Battle Group Rhineland River Crossing 1945 by Longshot Wargaming Lund 1676 a 6mm war game by Roll a One. And the winner for Best War Game After Action Report is Battle Group Rhineland River Crossing 1945 by Long Shot Wargaming. An American bridging unit is pushed forward in preparation. Tom continues the waterborne assault as two more infantry squads take to the boats. Before we get to our final award, let's pause for a moment to acknowledge one of the greatest challenges facing our generation. And now, a message from the president of the Little Wars TV Academy of Historical Wargaming, Media Arts and Sciences. Good evening. Tonight is a night of celebration, but we cannot lose sight of what really matters, leaving the next generation a better planet. The Intergovernmental Panel on Scale Creep has released its latest report, and the conclusions are dire. When I was a boy, miniatures were 25 millimeter head to toe. Today we see scales increasing exponentially to 28 millimeter, heroic 28 millimeter, and even 32 millimeters. Now that we have breached the 30 millimeter ceiling, the science is undeniable. According to our intergovernmental report, at this rate, a 25 millimeter model will surpass 38 millimeter by 2025. This is not a state of affairs we can leave to the next generation of gamers. Tonight, I ask, I know I demand all manufacturers around the world sign our newest accord pledging to halt the uncontrolled growth of 28mm figures and restore uniformity to the hobby. Together, we can end scale creep. Thank you. On behalf of the Academy, please enjoy the rest of the show. Good night. Ah, sobering words. There is nothing more impactful than a celebrity speaking truth to power. And here's our final celebrity of the night, Little Wars TV Josh. Thank you, thank you. It all comes down to this. Favorite YouTube channel. This is the only category not awarded by our panel of judges. This award, sponsored by War Games, Soldiers, and Strategy Magazine, is chosen by you. For the last six weeks, we've allowed open voting on the Caesar Awards website. The 2022 nominees for Favorite YouTube Channel are... Favorite YouTube Channel Seventh Sun Geek Gaming Scenics Storm of Steel Wargaming Tabletop CP Two Fat Lardies 
here we go. The winner will receive a two-year subscription to WSS Magazine. And your fan favorite is... Seventh Son! Those of you uh, who watch my channel regularly will probably notice that I've kind of gone for three bases for a unit. Oh, what an incredible night. So many great nominees and worthy winners. Thank you very much for joining us on this special evening. And of course, another huge thank you to our prize sponsors. They stepped up to support content creators. So pay these folks a visit and let them know you appreciate their efforts to grow our hobby community. It has been a true pleasure and honor to be your host tonight. A huge upgrade from Steve last year. Am I right? Good night, War Gamers. You say the award show is over and now you'll be clicking away. It's not so. Have you seen us refighting the battle at Marengo? Or try this. D-Day Antietam or capturing Alfred the Great. We insist. There's no other channel on YouTube with this deep a slate. Mini Wargaming? 400,000 subscribers. Get the hell out. I know them, that can't be. All they do is play fantasy. Orcs and trolls, space marines, a bunch of sci-fi and make-believe. All that lore, don't you see? It's inspired by real history. Nelson Rommel, Caesar Mead, Refight history's greatest battles and learn what it means to lead. Da 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 You can have my 25 millimeter figures when you pry my cold, dead hands off the packaging. I know who you are. You know who you are. And we're coming for you. Oh yeah, baby. We're coming for you. Me and my little 25 millimeter friends. Look at the last thing you ever see. What? You're kidding. I thought this was being taped. Live? Really? Now you tell me? Patreon collections are going to be down next month. Enjoy the rest of the show. Good night. If you've had as much fun watching tonight's shows as we've had laughing at Greg's lack of musical talent, click that subscribe button and leave us a comment below. Congratulations again to all of tonight's nominees and winners. We had a lot of fun with this year's show. <laughs>